Hello the world, welcome back for another viola video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Krentz modulator uh, that I mentioned last video. We're going to be installing it, talking about what it is, what it does, and then we're going to play around with it and see how it functions. All right, here we are um, taking a look at the viola. This is the Krentz modulator for tone and wolf control. This is the viola one. Um, I don't know what the violin one looks like on the inside, but on the outside, the magnet looks about the same size. So we're gonna go ahead and take this apart. And see how close what that looks like. All right, so when you open up the box, you get the little pamphlet fold out. This gives you all your information. Folds out, shows you, you know, where to place it for different results. It gives you instructions on how to install it. Uh, shows you methods for violin and viola, for cello. And my actual favorite part is you take a look right here. It says, uh, magnetically join the installation tool from figure A. Now, this will become important in just a moment. As we continue to take this out of the packaging, this is the installation tool which I think is just hilarious. Um, and is interesting for a couple of reasons. One, it's a pipe cleaner. That's just funny. I love that it's called an installation tool that cracks me up. Second of all, that's how strong the magnets are. These magnets are so incredibly strong that they stick to a pipe cleaner in order to insert the uh, tool into the, uh, the instrument, even though it, uh, it weighs a lot more than you'd think it could hold. All right, so now that we have this here, Go ahead and pull out the packaging. A little box here, it can go in the back. Now this is the magnet and you're gonna to wanna to hold both sides here because this is gonna fly around like something crazy. Incredibly strong magnets, packaging can go back there. So it says to make sure that you don't keep these apart on different surfaces because they'll fly back at each other. Uh, and you can, you know, might kill somebody with that, probably not, but you never know. All right, so we're gonna do this just by following the instructions. Uh, it's just to lay the instrument on its back. We've done that here. Got my, my rest on there so it doesn't go any place. Uh, it says to magnetically join the installation tool with the piston, which is this guy right here. This is the pretty cool part. Like that's a pipe cleaner and that's a giant strong magnet. Pretty awesome. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do in the instructions it says to insert it through the base F hole until it's entirely inside and has cleared, cleared the face board. I'm assuming it just means the top plate of the instrument. That's a weird term. Uh, we're gonna position it under the wood so it's only halfway visible through the F hole. What? The actual instructions for this are strangely written, but the diagrams are really good. Uh, so I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you on that. Your weirdly written technical instructions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this into the F hole. Uh, it says to place it in, is it even gonna fit? Oop, yeah, there we go. See, we can't, can't be trusting this thing. I'm gonna put this over, I'm gonna stick this to my music stand because I don't want to die. I'm gonna grab my, have my magnet at the ready. I'm gonna place this into, all right, going in this way. All right, so the piston is facing halfway. I'm gonna put my magnet about three inches away and I'm gonna move it over. There it goes. And it has jumped miraculously into place because uh, there's the thing and I can actually feel it moving around. So we're gonna move it all the way to the corner block so it has no effect. In the video, the, uh, the instructions said that when you move it this way, it is to eliminate the wolf, and when you move it this way, it enhances the tone. You kind of find uh, the sweet spot by kind of playing around. So we're gonna pop this over. All right, so we've installed the modulator. You can see the little magnet on the face of the instrument. I'm gonna go ahead and rewatch the video to refresh myself with how to do this. And then I'm gonna start playing around. 
All right, so I've been playing around with the Eliminator for a little bit. I've kind of stopped at this spot for the moment. To one point, I'm kind of tired of playing around with it because it's a bit fiddly and the changes are minute. And weirdly enough, like moving it in different spots, even in places that seem to work, can produce much, much worse results. Um, for example, where I've ended up with it here, if I move it a quarter of an inch inward, it produces a horrendous howl and the G-string is muted. Um, if I bring it to the left, it doesn't sound as good on open strings. So it really depends on the individual instrument. It's gonna take a little more fiddling. I think it's mostly eliminated the wolf. I don't think you wanna completely eliminate it because that will deaden the frequencies too much. Uh, the ideal placement in the videos I watched from the creator seemed to show that it eliminated almost all of the wolf and made it completely manageable, but at the same time balanced the instrument sounding good. And I think we found a spot where the instrument sounds pretty good. So we're gonna go back to the other spot, reset the camera, and then uh, we'll see what happened. the G seems to be a little bit muted, just as a whole string, so I'm gonna... Still there. But I don't know, I have to think about it a little bit, but it's not, um, it's not unmanageable. Maybe it is. It's the world's worst trilling exercise. Moving it over a little bit. to turn the microphone around so I'm gonna play uh, a little bit more and you'll see what happened with the wolf so it seems like I found a spot that is working well for eliminating the wolf way to go uh, mr. Krentz I'm gonna keep fiddling around with it and get it into maybe the perfect spot see if it enhances the tone a little more but for now I'm happy with the result and you can see what it's done If not 100% gone, at least under control, I'm pretty pleased. That brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully it was informative, amusing, entertaining, one of those, some combination. Uh, if so, feel free to like, subscribe, add some comments down at the bottom, and uh, we'll see you next time.